Hi guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Now, if you build your own rig, everybody needs some thermal paste. Now, uh, Arctic Cooling have had the MX range out for an awfully long time. And they've just replaced MX6 with MX7. And I can already hear the kids shouting in the background, but we will move on. Um, so yes, we do have MX7. Now straight away I'm going to bring the prices up because I was actually quite surprised by the GBP prices of this stuff to the point I actually went to Arctic and was like, that seems a little bit too cheap compared to the prices in uh, Europe and America. Anyway, those prices are correct and it does mean that it's pretty much a like for like swap over MX6 uh, with current prices in the UK. Now this Obviously, it's thermal paste, but we all kind of need it. There are times when we need to upgrade all sorts of stuff. So it isn't just for CPUs. It is usable because it's non-conductive and non-capacitive so that you can use it on graphics cards. You can use it on consoles. You can use it on direct dye applications, water cooling, graphics cards, I've already said, but you can use it on everything. Now, the one thing I will say is they do say straight away that it's thicker than uh, previous, and I already thought MX6 was already quite thick. Um, so it does take a little bit of uh, getting used to for the application. They do say that the X is the best uh, way to um, uh, mount it. And then the idea of this is, is the pressure from your plate or whatever you're putting on top of it for that thermal interface will squeeze out and whatever is left in there is the amount that you're going to need. So you have to make sure you don't put too much on because it will squeeze out. But they do say that when doing multiple uh, burning runs and hot, cold, hot, cold, you won't get bleed out. But it is going to push what it doesn't need out when you do that first application. Um, I've done a lot of applications with this, if I'm honest, and we did do a fair amount of testing. Um, I wasted a lot doing uh, the video where you can see me putting the X in because I kept getting my head in the way or my hand was completely covering stuff up. But it was kind of good that they did send me uh, all of the options that they do have available. So you get a two gig, sorry, two gig, two gram, four gram and an eight gram tube. But then there's also a, a four gram tube with six MX cleaner wipes, which is basically just an alcohol wipe in there. I have looked and I can't see what the alcohol rating was, whether it was 90, 99, or maybe even 70, but it comes with it in there anyway, and it does help you get the uh, extras off. That's what the uh, wipes look like when they're inside. And then I've got a 2G tube here and then another four, I haven't opened the eight yet. Uh, so they're new tubes and you can also, if you want to go on the um, box, you can scratch off the QR code and it will say whether it's genuine or not. Printing a QR code on it though, to me doesn't really prove that it's genuine because you can print any QR code. Anyway, that's just me uh, ranting. Performance, however, is the reason why we're here. Yes, usage, you have to uh, be very kind of on point with how you're going to apply it and how you're going to use it. But usage was one of the reasons why I did end up making a video because I was just gonna bang this on the website, but it did make a difference in our testing. Now the white rig that you saw me putting the X on is the one that I tested on it with. It's a 14900K. It's a 360 millimeter AIO. It's a hot processor with a middle of the range, not expensive uh, AIO, although it was an Asus AIO, but it's not expensive. It's not one of their 400 pound ones. It's just a 360 AIO. And we, um, we actually did see a decent drop in temperatures. Now on average temperatures, six to seven, oh, I didn't do that on purpose. The, com uh, the comparison between six and seven, uh, there was about, on the average core, there was about a two degree drop, which two degrees for thermal paste is a fair old lump to take off. And that was easily replicable with me pulling it off, cleaning and putting it back on again. Uh, if you went with the hottest core though, it was nearly four degrees. And again, if you, we were to uh, pull the cooler off, clean and reseat, 
it was really replicable. It was kind of annoying how replicable it was. One of the reasons why it was kind of annoying is because Arctic Coolant have just sent me a load of MX-6 to be able to use in stuff, and the MX-7 is now that much better. I actually want to switch to using that. Um, now, I am going to say that if you're like a dob guy or a single line guy, then uh, this isn't going to work for you because it's just not going to spread as nicely. And you definitely, definitely cannot spread it. And I have tried and it pretty much just wipes off and goes everywhere. It's not, it doesn't want to stick to the CPU like you'd think it would, which is why you put the X on, put your plate down and then it squeezes out and it just works better that way. Anyway, quick video, quick performance. Yes, you do get a bonus. It's really not expensive. And if you've been looking at your graphics card temps or your CPU temps recently and thinking to yourself, oh, they're hotter than they used to be, I'm sure they am, and I've hoovered it and I've cleaned it and I've still got high temps, you probably need to change your thermal paste. And considering that you can get an eight gram tube of this for less than 10 quid, I think it's a bit of a no-brainer. Ask someone to put it in your um, uh, Christmas box, like, you know, the little gifts that people get you, the stocking fillers, that sort of thing. Ask them to get you one of these, and then the only other thing that you could ask for for Christmas, if you've not got one, is a magnetic Phillips screwdriver. Or get a, ma a magnetic um, uh, tool so that you can actually magnetise the screwdriver that you've already got and believe me a magnetic screwdriver will change your life and having this in your drawer is never going to be a bad thing. So yeah, two degrees drop from the same manufacturer, um, gen on gen, I think that's a bit of a winner.